Hello, hello, hello. Well, man, this has been um, kind of a fast ride for you in the UFC, right? But mm -hmm. now you're on this massive pay-per-view, Conor McGregor, all those. I mean, does this feel like a, a big moment in your career? Yes, for sure. I think UFC is giving me uh, a huge opportunity to fight in this card. And I'm trying to not be just another fighty, fighter fighting in, in McGregor and Dustin card. I want to be, who you remember Amanda? She fight that day in UFC 257. So I want that. So I will try to put all my heart, all, all my vibe, all my energy inside to the octagon. Does it add any pressure to you at all, though? Because I feel like the expectations for you are so high. Like, you can't just go win a fight. You have to, you know, do something amazing every time. Is that is that difficult at all? No, it's not. I don't see like that. I see the guys are enjoying my time, the time with me inside to the octagon. So, for me, it's not pressure at all. Yeah. It's good. What did you think about this matchup? Stylistically, the name, was it a fight that uh, that you were interested in? Yes, yes, it is a tough fight for me because she is really good in Muay Thai. She throw elbows, kicks, and she's tough. She's number eight in the world, so she's tough. So for me, it's amazing to fight against her because I can show my striking too. So you, you say you want to show the striking, but it would seem the, the easy path would be to take her to the ground and submit her <laughs> there. So, I mean, do you feel like you, you have to show that you can strike, or is it better to just... Go submit her. I think we need to to feel the fight. I think I want to show my strike, yes, but I need to listen to my coaches. I think this is really important, and some fighters, they don't do that, and I do a lot. I put my strategy in my mind, but my ears is all the time open it for my coaches. Right. Last thing for me, I mean, you become a star very quickly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so good to listen to <laughs> How soon can you go from star to champion? I don't know. I think it, I need to become step by step, train hard. I don't want to forget to train because sometimes I saw some fighters just social media and forgot to train. No, I want to train hard because... I know I need to be better, but I don't know, maybe until this, the end of this year, because I supposed to fight against Carla in the beginning, and she, is, she had the name to fight for the belt too, so I think until the end of this year. That depends the result of this fight against Marina, and I need to do a really good fight. How would you grade, uh, you talked about Marina striking, but how would you grade her grappling? Her? Yeah. I think it's tough too, because she fought against a lot of wrestlers, and she know how to defend, take downs. So this is, will be a tough fight for me for that too, because she knows how to defend, take downs. And you'll also be fighting in front of fans again. I think like 2,000 fans will be in attendance. Are you looking forward to that? Ah, yes, I love that. I love the vibes, I think. Because I'm in competition since I'm a child. And in a small city, that is like Team Amanda, Team Another City. And all the time it's rare and screaming. So for me, when they, when they scream for me, it's amazing. When they scream for another fight, it's amazing too. Because I like that, you know, that vibe, that feeling. It's, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. A minha irmãzinha tá ali atrás, olha o tamanho dela, que é maior que eu. <risos> Ela tá aqui, da outra vez eu trouxe meu irmão, né? E irmão mais velho, né? Fica sempre me incomodando. Agora, minha vez, deu incomodar ela, entendeu? Por isso que eu trouxe ela, tô brincando, não é não. Ela é luta também e eu adorei ter trago pra ela a poder aproveitar um pouquinho, eu poder passar um pouquinho da minha experiência que eu tô tendo aqui pra ela, pra ela ver que, independente, se ela quiser ser lutadora, se ela quiser ser modelo, se quiser ser dentista, que ela pode, só tem que acreditar. É só pra sentir um gostinho. Regarding her younger sister who's here, and yeah, my little sister's back there, and 
you know, last time I brought my older brother and he was on my case and bugging me the whole time. So <laughs> it's nice for me to be able to do that to her this time and, you know, show her everything. If she wants to be a fighter, model, dentist, whatever, you know, it's good for her to be here and, and, and see all this. Obviamente não se lembra né, do que aconteceu, mas aí num, num jiu-jitsu ela fala assim, agora você vai pagar pelo que você me fez passar dentro daquele carro. Sim, foi, aconteceu isso, teve essa história do carro mesmo, que a pessoa, sempre fui rodadura, né? Aí no Natal bateu o carro, ela tava comigo e fui treinar com a cidadã e ela me finalizou. Sabe o que que é legal? É, que, é isso, porque eu tentei usar força pra sair, não deu certo não, mas é tão bom quando... A minha, no meu caso é a minha irmãzinha, mas sei lá, algum estudante nosso, né, algum aluno, consegue fazer uma técnica que mostra, consegue fazer uma coisa certa com a gente, aí é legal demais. Muito legal. And talking about an experience they had, she's also, uh, she also trains jiu-jitsu and they had something in the car and, yeah, we got in a car wreck on Christmas Day and, you know, I'm not that great of a driver. <laughs> And we went to the gym and uh, she, you know, took it out on me and submitted me and, you know, I tried to be strong and I couldn't get out of it, but it's cool to see a student, uh, you know, overcome that and be able to, to do that. Uh, gente, algumas conversas que eu tive com a, com a Marina, né, a gente sempre comenta que ela, é que você sempre colocou ela com bucha, com, com lutadoras difíceis. Hum. Você vai ser mais uma aí, alguma bucha na, 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 no caminho dela? Eu espero que sim, porque eu dei meu melhor no camp. E eu acho que todos os camps que vieram antes foram só para complementar esse. Então, eu espero sim que eu, sei lá, que nós duas façamos o melhor show. Marina said that the UFC always puts the toughest, badass girls in front of her. Are you going to be just one more? Yeah, I hope so. I had a great camp and, you know, I hope to go in there and I hope that she also has a great performance and it's going to be a good fight. You mentioned the opportunity the UFC have given you by putting you on this card, but I wondered what exactly you thought of the main event and how you're seeing that fight play out. Como que eu vejo a luta acabando? Você falou da oportunidade de estar nesse card, mas como é que você vê a luta rolando, a luta principal? It's a good question. I saw that Dustin training at the gym. He was there all the time. So for me, he's prepared for this fight. And I think, uh, I think he would try to throw, uh, throw McGregor and I don't know, he would try it or maybe just put him on the cage and start to, to try punches to make points. I think it will be like that. I think, I don't know. Não, cresceu mais ainda. Tá, tá bombando. Eu acho que quando começou a falar das lutas, que eu ia lutar na ilha de novo, que ia ser no card, dois, no card do UFC, como é, do, card, do McGregor com o Dustin, já começou a aumentar mais ainda. E toda hora que, querendo ou não, mudando de adversário, meu nome ia ir na mídia de novo, né? Então aumentou mais ainda. Sim. About social media blowing up the last time she fought, you know, how how's it been since then? And it's continued to grow and, you know, being on this card with, with McGregor and Poirier and every time there's a change of opponents, you know, my name's out there in the media, so get more and more attention. <laughs> Eu acho que eu tenho que melhorar mais ainda, porque às vezes dou umas engasgadas no inglês, mas tem sim vontade de aprender espanhol, porque eu acho que o público latino aí, americano, latino-americano, né? É, tá crescendo muito no UFC, é grande já, então acho que se eu aprender a falar um pouquinho meu espanhol vai melhorar mais ainda. About the improvement in uh, her English, does she think about having an, adding another language? And you know, I need to improve my English a little bit. I still have a few hiccups, but it'd be cool to learn Spanish and, and connect with all those those Latin fans. Amanda, I 
I know that uh, your mother and father are some of your biggest heroes. Just how proud are they watching you become such a superstar? My mom and my dad? Yeah. Uh, my dad made a tattoo of me. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> my brother and sister was mad and then he did from them too. You know? <laughs> but my mom, she is amazing. Since I'm child, she made my, my, how do you say Braids. Yeah, and, but he made my braids before the camp, and then when I came to the UFC, it was not her, but I all the time imagine her, I, I talk to her, she made letters for me and put in my bag, so this for me, my family is my support, and I'm blessed to have that, because if nothing's going on good, I have my family, so it's amazing. Yeah, that's lovely. How bad was the car crash you had? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, oh, look that. Because my house was like the car was here, and there is this climb. Climb? Yeah. This hill. And I was trying to pass the uh, march. The gear. The gear. I was, <laughs> and the car started to going down and my brother and my friends were playing in the street thank god they are i don't know they are tired and they sit like right here and my garage is here and come and bow and boom. almost i kill my brother imagine that imagine and my dad almost killed me <laughs> was killed me. Oh, this is crazy I'm glad you're okay, but I too had same really yeah. I think it was 10, 11, why it was young. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh.